Welcome to Crime Funnel. This video is the third in the series in the second half of the hospital interview as well as the station interrogation of Alexander Jackson, the 21-year-old man accused of killing his family in their home in 2021. If you haven't seen the first two, I suggest watching them before this video. The first one details the case, and the second is the first half of the hospital interview. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Alex, you know,
you can see it'll work better when uh, an entire family's been murdered in cold blood and the person responsible continues to deny it and shows really no remorse, so just hear me out. And I mean, that makes it look like intentional homicide that you wanted to massacre a family. Whereas we've given you every opportunity, we've confronted you with all the inconsistencies and with the evidence. But you're not. Okay, so if a jury that listened to you said you're trying to help us, and then they can see the wounds we've seen, and nobody comes or goes, and all of that, and then you continue with this story of I'm trying to help you, um, it really looks pretty cool. The fact that after this has happened to your family, that you're claiming you're trying to help us. Because we're not going to Huh? I want the guy found. Yeah, well, we found the guy. Found the guy? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we did. Uh-huh. It's not me. Well, I didn't say it was you. Why would you say well, it was you? Because you guys keep going back to you. I didn't... You just told me that. I never... Well, I'm just thinking, it hurts me. Yeah, 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 why oh, yeah. Well, I mean, his, his body of a lot of money is not a lot of money. Because, see, when we have a court on something, too, we have to have evidence. And uh, if we make a column of evidence that Alex did this, and evidence that unidentified male did this, and we start putting in Okay, nobody on all the surrounding cameras in the neighborhood and given that it's like a dead end road, nobody came to left. Okay, so that doesn't go in a call about some unknown guy showing up at your residence. We have no forced entry, okay? That doesn't really work. Okay, so that goes in the Alex column also. And we have family members shot to death in the head and in bed. That goes in this column, and then, then we have Alex saying he might have shot himself in the foot, or it might have been the other guy, not real sure. However, the trajectory, trajectory in the evidence is going to show that he shot himself in the foot. That's going to go in this column, too. So what I'm saying is, when you put all these together, we have nothing other than Alex saying, unidentified male who did not break into the house, and used the gun that was, he broke into a house and used the gun that was in the house. How would he know there was one in there? Makes no sense, okay? That's because there is no man, Alex. You were sleeping. You wake up. Your sister didn't, because you shot her before she could wake up. Alex, your sister was sleeping when she was shot. And I can tell you don't like your sister, because you don't get any. Well, I'm happy that you guys are taking that. Well, I'm a little bit worked up. Well, I'm a bit worked up the fact that you think we're that stupid. It's really offensive, that honestly. It's offensive that I just spelled out Alex, you're all of the evidence to you, and that you're going to sit here and tell me. Basically, I think you're dumb, is what you're saying without saying it. I think that's offensive. Okay, Alex, you're the difference of family. Alex, okay. listen. Because I didn't kill my family, that's why. The, the reason, the reason that this is, is so clear on what happened, because you didn't think it through that well. Exactly. And you didn't, and you didn't think it through that well, Alex, because I'm willing to bet that right up until the point when you pulled the trigger, you are having second thoughts. I think, Alex, that you you tried to resist Eric to do this. You thought about it long and hard. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to go through with this? 
And there are a lot of variables you can think about uh, beforehand that we're bringing to your attention now about when the cameras got pulled off, things like that. Okay? Like, I should have kicked the door in instead of just left it open a little bit. There's a lot of variables. This is so clearly what happened, Alex. But I should have ransacked the house a little to make it look like somebody was trying to rob the place rather than just come in and massacre my family. That wasn't well thought out. You didn't think it out. You didn't think it out, Alex, because there's something going on. Understand 
first year was pretty good. The second year it started to go downhill because of what? Yeah, by what? Just not one. I guess it's good for Europe, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. That that's an overachiever, right? Your dad. Uh, he was lost, okay. Yeah. I mean, how about mom? Is she an overachiever? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sister. I, I don't even know who her is. Sure. She strike you as an overachiever? Um, well, she works on stuff, I guess. Mm-hmm. Stuff. But you don't, you don't necessarily work on stuff, obviously, otherwise you pass one whole class. You saw me get thrown their money down the toilet. This was... I think you're not taking it from the break. So. Uh -huh. well, was the break your choice or was it dad's because he didn't want to waste his money on it anymore? He promised to pay half my college. Uh -huh. The half you passed or all of it?
on solar energies? Well, but Alex, the problem is you can handle it all on your own. I don't think you've ever talked to anybody about it or opened up to anybody about it. Probably not even your mom and dad. Maybe your mom a little bit. A little bit, you know, dad puts a lot of pressure on you. And Sabrina is successful at what she does, but make me feel like I'm not really that successful. Oh, uh, I don't know. 
we just literally open the school door. Should I tell them to come in there? That's all I know. Uh, I don't know. I think his mom just reached out that he was. I don't know. I don't know. So he was figuring out what Japanese is. Yeah. And our homes, families. I think all of them were here. How did that happen to me? I don't know that. How did they meet? Um, college, I think, or, or no, after college, I think golf. Golf was something on. They still golf? Mm -hmm. Did they still golf? No. Yeah. Um, I think they won't hear, but how was their relationship? Huh? How was their relationship? Um, great to your college. To your college. Yeah. Did your sister have any bad relationships? Not good. So their relationship's great. Your sister's is great. So here's what here's what we need to abandon right now. Okay. Okay. I I think there are some personal reasons why this happened, and I think you you, you you got all the answers bottled up inside. But hold on, listen. What we need to do is, though, is your, your official story to us has always been, and you've stuck to it for now, is that this, this, right, right. this is a burglary. Okay? Even though there's zero elements of a burglary to it. Okay? I keep telling you that because it's important you understand that. Having worked hundreds and hundreds of burglaries, you've seen hundreds of thousands of burglaries, and not hundreds of thousands, but having seen a lot, okay? They all, they all look, start to look the same after a while, you know? It's like the difference between a Van Gogh painting and a, a little kid's watercolor, you know, a finger painting. It's pretty obvious the difference between the two, okay? No one would confuse the two, okay? This does not have any elements of a burglary. It has all the elements of an intentional killing of people. Um, and, and so, the, for us, hey, we're going to have some real estate. Did he? I wouldn't think so. But. Again, there would there'd be a forced entry in the house and whatnot. That's the part you didn't think about. You should have kicked the door to make it, well, I'm just saying, or at least ransacked the house. And you're probably going, wishing you would have now. Because you know, you know. What do you guys think? What, what, what says burglary about this other than What's coming out of your mouth? Nothing. And you know that. Wow. The, re the reason, again, I, I think I mentioned this before, but the reason that this isn't more well thought out or well planned is because it's probably not as premeditated as it kind of seems like. Okay. People don't think about these things for weeks. Years or whatever, and plan out every detail. Well, the ones that do are that's by far yeah. premeditated well, murder and, and masters, but the spur of the moment, something came over somebody. You decided after dinner last night that hey, I, I can't deal with life, I can't deal with them, I can't deal with whatever. That's far more understandable than thinking that you sat and stewed about this for, for months. Planned this out, decided everything. Plus, you guys. I know. I know. It's a, well, that's probably what we're going to take with us when we leave here today. It's just the thought of going to write down all my eyes. Well, we're going to write down it all now. Of course. Of course. We would write down more. You said more. You explained more or, or gave us some inkling of, of other than. You know, basically, you're probably being disappointed again. Yeah. Um, because now, that's the problem when we walk away from here is that's that's all the information that, that we got from you, coupled with what else we have. Well, because if we don't, 
now the fact that we've talked here for about two hours and uh, we've given you more than every opportunity to complain. Um, and if you don't, we don't have these conversations again. And then what? Looks like is that you're just a cold blood killer and a liar. Whereas, I mean, that, that could be the truth. Yeah. But if that's not the truth, if you're not a cold blooded killer, you're not a liar, I would like to be able to go put that down on paper and say, he has remorse. So the he first, didn't mean to do this. One of the first, one of the first, things, one of the first things we did is, is we tried to follow up on your story. That's logical, right? Yes. Go find this other guy that was in your house, shot, killed your family that you told the dispatcher about. Yeah. But you yeah. told the dispatcher your mom was dead. Well, there's questions. Well, it doesn't mean she was shot. You know how you told the dispatcher that? Because you knew it. Because you saw it. I didn't see my mother on the well, you did when you pulled the trigger. And I know that pisses you off to hear it, but it pisses me off that you're making me have to say it. This is what you think I did. I don't think you did it. You don't think I did it? I know you did it. Look at this, look at your foot. You shot Nobody shot gets an injury blood. like that. Okay. Okay, people that shoot you yourself in the foot, that's what, you know what, when people accidentally get shot in the foot, it goes straight in the ankle. I've seen it. They don't shoot themselves in the top of the foot unless they're going, oh, well, I gotta be part of, I gotta be shot too, but I'm not gonna shoot myself in the head. I shot my family in the head, but I'm not gonna do that to myself. What I'm gonna do is, okay, uh, what's gonna hurt the least? So I don't have the courage to do any, anywhere else. So you shoot yourself in the foot because you think that's going to hurt the least. And then you make the comment, you know, it really didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Because you thought about how bad this is going to hurt when you pull the well, trigger. Well, I thought previously, you know. You thought previously? You thought before. You know? Okay, yeah. That's well, you, I don't sit there and go, okay, this is going to hurt. Oh, well, I didn't do that. Well, and then you were going, you were pleasantly surprised that after you shot yourself in the foot, it didn't hurt as bad as you thought it would. That's right, I'm sure. Right. You're pleasantly surprised that that did well, not hurt as bad as you had made it up in your head. It wasn't pain, I was like, and you were, all in my mind. Like, you were surprised, right? It. You were like, wow, I just shot myself in the foot, and that didn't hurt. Alex, have you searched the Internet for what happened to you? Have you searched anything for mental health or depression? Addiction or you know anything of that nature on your phone at all? Uh, not really. Not really. Tell me about the what, what well, the. Nothing I remember. Is it yes or no question? No, you never searched for any of those things on your phone. Oh um, my. Like like searching a find the question or something? Yeah, have you ever taken a quiz? No, no. You ever, I don't really trust those. Sure. But have you ever searched to find out if you're depressed or if you had them? No. Have you ever searched, uh, uh, you know, anything about different medications related to mental health issues? How about, how about beyond depression? Let's just call it mental health in general. Okay. Have you ever searched any of that on your phone? The, uh, how about those?
how about have you done any research uh, about shooting people or killing people? Sounds strange, but it's people's minds before. How about shooting yourself? How about suicide? Have you ever searched that? Not for me. Not for who was it for? Well, I was just worried about suicide. Okay. Anything in the last couple of months? No, so nothing in the last couple months on that? Um, we'll find out if we if you did. And it'll start to make more sense. I'm sure you know if it's on it. Yeah. We got a forensic guy that goes through that. Perhaps just actually just a good night moment if you lose a good night. Some of the communications from the bosses that I got up. Do you have a computer? Uh, yeah. A laptop or? Uh, desktop. Desktop. Is that in your bedroom? That's it. The room across from me. Oh, is that, but is it just yours? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The room across your bedroom. Yeah. Which is just for Now my question would be, let's add, add, add that computer to it. Have you ever searched it on that computer? It's probably the same as my phone. It's just on the computer. I don't know what it is. 
this, honestly. I really don't. But I do know that Bernie Anderson don't do this. A total stranger. A total stranger that breaks into a house. That's not, that's not this. That's not total stranger stuff. It's none of this is total stranger stuff. Headshots are personal. Headshots are, I'm going to make it quick. I'm going to make sure you're dead. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in the business to make you suffer. That's not my goal. My goal is just to stop uh, what's going on in life. Why are you too much about being your parents? Saying, what? And you're agreeing with me that it does. 
Well, you can. I'm giving you. I'm giving the reasons I think it does. Um, have I been wrong before? Yes. Yep. I've been wrong before. Will I be wrong again? Yep. Yep. I'll be wrong again. Will that change your situation? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Do a thorough investigation. It's going to go on long after we're done talking today. Okay, the answers, I think people, uh, I always tell people the best time, the best time to really give us an explanation on why things happen is the first time we talk. Listen, everyone lies to us. Everyone lies to us. That's what they do. It's the police, especially in a situation like this. They all lie to us. And I always tell them, I said, if you tell us the truth before we leave, you're not going to hold that against me. I'm not. Okay? Situations like these are hard as shit to deal with. It's super challenging. So, get back. So, we talked about going to Oregon, you were going to visit mom's side of the family, right? Yeah. Grandma. She passed away. away, Grandpa. Uh, passed away. He had some calls. Oh, that's what they just want to know. Or, they did like a couple weeks ago. Okay. Maybe so? Uh, or just sister? No. Uh, she's been, most of the things have been going on, most of these are persistent. 
Try to 
you know, gunshot wound going in there, you have a lot of dirty metal going into the foot, you want to clean it out, give you some good antibiotics. You do have on your x-ray, you do have, looks like some fracture, your bones and some pieces there. But the things that I'm most concerned about, you know, the artery in that area, um, that looks good. I can hear your artery. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, we treat you with no weight on the foot, okay? So you'd be on crutches. Um, not able to put weight on there because of the fracture, your bones and few pieces there. We want to heal, want to heal. Yep, in that position. But I, I think we, you would benefit from at least cleaning it out, just to rinse it out, make it cleaner, and then you'd still be on antibiotics and everything. But I think I would anticipate you'd be able to go after the surgery, after you wake up from anesthesia, okay? But that will want to be for a couple hours because I we got to get everything set up in the operating room and um, have to finish up with a couple other patients, but that would be the plan for today. Do you have questions about any of that? Okay. So, and typically I don't close the, the bullet hole wounds, okay, because if we close it, then we're just closing off where an infection could start in there, and um, so those are going to have to heal, and your body's going to have to heal those all in, okay, but um, then we need to make the hole a little bit bigger to wash it out, and then close that portion of it, okay, um, and then we keep you on antibiotics for a couple weeks until we know that you're not going to have an infection. I mean, the biggest risk for this type of surgery is that, you know, if you didn't heal or if it became infected, you might have to have a repeat surgery to clean it out again, okay. Um, other risks are you still have some risks to that artery into the nerve surrounding the area, so you could have numbness in that area later on. Um, if the fracture doesn't heal, there's a chance you have to have surgery later on to put plates and screws in there to heal it up and put it in a better position. Okay. Luckily, the bone looks like it's in a good position right now to heal as it is, um, and since it's a contaminated wound and because it's in quite a few pieces, I wouldn't recommend putting hardware plates and screws in there right now. Okay, so today is just to clean it out, and make it cleaner. All right, all right, sounds good. So we'll get you set up on the schedule for later this afternoon. Then, okay. Ready? You guys just gonna continue on here, Sean? Perfect. Yeah. Um, so we'll go home tonight, okay. or be discharged tonight sure. after he wakes up. So and I'll let you know when I have the time. Can you continue to have water? No. No, because the no. no. just surgery and they don't want you to and like a washout. I don't think it takes more than I mean I don't work on the water. I would say like 15, 20 minutes. Like oh, that's interesting. Go here. No. Um. Yeah. We can or have a shower for yeah. a minute and then we can. Uh, uh,
Think about we can kind of see the wheels turning up there. Don't know what to do.
What's that? What are they? One's a Border Collie and one is a Beagle and Boston Terrier mix. They're getting old though. No, oh, not too bad. The border collie's well behaved. My other one just gets into everything and runs all the time. Believe I had to have a fence, so I just take off and run five blocks away. Wasn't very good at sticking around. Was yours a runner? I was pretty well. He has me feet on. Yeah. Yeah, his life is pretty centered around food. Yeah, as most dogs are. Registration was checked by. I told them to talk to you guys. Oh, they um, just put them off for a minute. Uh, when, they, when they come, uh, you keep hanging out out here. Yes, please. Unless you, you went to someone else today. I 
How much ammo did you have for it? I would say one box. Mm -hmm. So the box that was laying next to it? Uh, well, why did you have a box of ammo next to it? To transfer it on. To what? To uh, get the bullets to come out. Uh -huh. yeah, because that's what they're going to do. So you, so you, you got them out, you put them in the box, right? Well, they're in the box. I brought them out, so. Was it empty when you got it out to clean it? Uh huh. No, it was loaded. Yeah. And then. Oh, oh, they got it was unloaded. So the gun was. What the magazine was? Uh, the, no. So the, the gun in your house was not loaded? No, no. And you happen to have an empty box laying around that you get some rounds off into? So you no, we had the ammo box over here. So I had the ammo box there too. To load the magazine. Uh, sure. It's not like a For what? For a gun. It's like a little soft. Okay. It's an older one. So the bag I came into your house and loaded the gun too? I guess. Well, so would there be any reason that your fingerprints would be on those shells then? The shells? Mm -hmm. Probably why I was drawing that gun. When you were there? Drawing them out. You're saying that, so. Okay, so. Well, where were those rounds before? As you emptied them, you put them where? Uh, back in the box. Okay. You, you said so you earlier, you really got it at the fireplace. You cleaned it, and then it got. Yeah, put it away. No, I put it away. Uh, no, I thought it was clean. No, I'm talking away over here in our conversation. You talked about, you're not sure where you left the gun, but one on the fire place. Where the animal to put it. I think just my dad was also still looking at it or something. You said the gun was not left out on the fire place where you put it. It was. Okay, so it was left on the fire place. Yeah. And so, but, but what, now what we do need to believe is that this burglar came into your house, sat there, loaded the gun. Are we going to find anybody else's fingerprints on those shell cases besides you and your dad? I don't want to take stone. No, no, no. Why not? All this is going to be Okay, so whoever loaded those then would have been you or your dad. Well, burglar. Well, I just asked you that. Yeah. Will we find any other fingerprints on well, the shell cases? Well, besides me. Besides you or your dad? Yeah, well, he's going to have to He told us the bird, the gun was empty. Yeah. And he already said he didn't have gloves. What? You've already said he didn't have gloves. I never said he had. Wait, what? No, I asked. You said he had a ski mask on. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he had no gloves. And if you're fighting with the hands, you would, that would be something that would stand out. So. Well, there's not much description of it. Okay, yeah, and that's good. 
make sure I turn the jobs to Vancouver or Bristol. Yeah. If I'm going to pay for half of your college, you're going to get a job. Yeah. You're going to pay for the other half. You, you're not showing any effort. You haven't showed a drop of effort to go get a job. But you've been in jobs. Huh? I've done job applications. You show up for the open interview at ID. Yeah. Were you hoping to get a job being, being the number one guy on Halo? No. Okay. We're just talking about that. Yeah. I, I, how are you going to pay for college with a part time job at ID? Loans or something. Loans or something? You don't, you don't have to figure it out. He swore you didn't have to figure it out either. And it's all going to come back on him. Am I right? He was concerned about that. Am I right? Well, no, it was just falling. Because then you got to fall on him. Right? He told you that, right? Yeah, because he's just paying for the first time. Correct? Yeah. And you got to be on your own soon. Yeah. You're not going to continue to support, support your, your habits. Right? Right? Is that frustrating? Is that frustrating? What was just doing? Well, he's, he's just not more sympathetic to you. To... Well, no, I don't understand. He wants the best for you. So, probably wants the best from you. Okay. Does he get that? Can I hand him this? You would know. I mean, according to you, he's not. The two years that he paid for it, you probably got what? 30 credits? Sure. In two years? Sure. And shouldn't you have double that? Value uh, yeah, for this semester and stuff. And then you can do all of them. Right. I'm telling you, he, he was frustrated. I can tell. I can tell in your reactions. I'm not saying they're justified. Okay. But this is this is an issue between the two of you. These this grades, you're not having a job. Well I was working with this. Wow. Is he okay with how fast you are working on? As long as I get one for this summer. Summer job? Yeah. What are you going to pay for the summer job? Well, I can start stock farming. That's where it's going. I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of luck in stockpiling a part time IV job to, to pay for that. Listen, the whole point of this is, is that I understand where you're at. And I understand how hard it is to deal with a parent. Um, who's got expectations that are not reasonable. Okay. I know oh, that. I understand what you said. Yeah, but you weren't accomplishing what he was, what he was hoping. Well, I was working. Mm -hmm. yeah, you weren't working hard enough, and I got to assume you was being frustrated. Because if you were working hard enough, jobs are, are a dime a dozen right now. You could go get one anywhere doing anything at any time. You could show up and have a paycheck by the end of the day almost. That's how many jobs are available right now. Yeah. Okay. And school is totally doable. A guy with no, uh, with no job, with no girlfriend, okay, should have all the time in the world to pass classes with a D. Okay. You chose not to put it work. That he was paying for it. Okay. I'm not that world wasn't my money. But if if you want to tell me that he was upset, legitimately upset with you about this, and that him railing on you is letting me make my own decisions. Uh no, no, no. Probably didn't anticipate it, you know, it would come to this. Oh, I didn't do it. Yeah. 
tiny part of you there. Not, he wants to play this. Yeah. I'm good at this point. We have a bit in your house. Because, well, okay. so try to talk to you for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at this point, after you're going to I'm kind of good at it for a while. So, you just sit with me for a minute.
Um, I'd like to chat about, maybe you could tell me about your foot too. I'm going to read your rights again, just like we did before, okay? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney and to have an attorney present during questioning. You cannot afford an attorney who will be provided by the court without cost to you if you wish. You understand those? Uh, yeah. Expedited the search warrant. 
since we're investigating a homicide. Okay, so I got that quickly, and uh, nobody left your house after the shooting had happened. All right. Okay, so what time do you think you woke up yesterday? Or today, I should say. Um, was it eight twelve when uh, when you said that uh, or you called nine one one? Twenty one. Eight twenty one. I'm sorry, I may have gotten that slightly wrong. But yeah, when I called. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long before that did you wake up for the day? Um. The five. Ten minutes. I don't know. Okay, so conservatively, we could say you were asleep till at least eight a.m. Uh, yeah. Okay. So who's using your phone at six a.m. to get on social media? Mm -hmm. Who's using your phone at six a.m. to get on social media? Uh, maybe me. I don't know. I don't remember. How could you use it at six if you were asleep till eight? You see what we're saying, Alex? Uh, it's time, to, Alex, Alex, time to just not the point. The gig's up, bud. No one left. You're awake much earlier than you you called. Okay, because you're brainstorming how to get your ass out of this trouble you're in. That's clear. In addition, we know when people were were shot in that house. We know that it's not physically possible uh, for someone to get. When you heard shots, you said you heard, you told us earlier that you heard maybe 10 shots. Something like that. Sure. They're just in a row, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, or whatever, in a row, all one little burst. Um, no. Uh, maybe some burst, but not in a row. Okay, tell us about that. Um, I was just in like, like a few bursts or something. Yeah. Uh, how long are we talking about? Uh, Ten seconds total or five um, seconds or two seconds? Or ten minutes? A, a minute maybe? So there's a little gap and there's like a minute. Yeah, ten. Let's say ten shots in a minute or something. Okay. So over a minute, there's about ten shots. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. So in that minute, when did you wake up? You, you clearly woke up after the first shot. Otherwise, you wouldn't guess there was ten, right? Or what you perceived to be the first shot. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Came in, went straight downstairs. Well, how, how's the bad guy supposed to get past you upstairs to kill your mom? And then come back downstairs only to be standing down there when you get down there to confront him. Well, maybe uh, it's kind of a bit slow about being downstairs, but that's... He was or you were? I was, I guess. How far from the back door are the steps? The, the back door to the steps? No, no, the back door of the house, from the screen porch. Once you walk in, can you see the steps? Uh, no. Okay, you gotta turn and go, go somewhere? You to go through the kitchen, mm -hmm. into the hallway. No. Or through the living room, you could get there. Uh, there's a, we have a dog fence there, right? Oh. No, it doesn't want to start. It's okay, but you can step over it here. A big guy. If you if if I think chats were some stuff away. Okay. Well let's just, let's just say that we covered out every detail. We took into account your theory about a a masked a ski masked intruder mm -hmm. uh, coming in with the, the worst description on the planet and we gave it due diligence. Okay. I told you we went into this and there was nothing about this story it seemed like it was an intruder, right? But you didn't want to change your story. You wanted to stick with the intruder. Yes. And we wanted to be thorough. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to be thorough in the really, really off chance. And I know why. 
And the why is a pretty good reason. Okay, you got a lot of baggage uh, dealing with that family. I get it. We all know about it. We've talked to your friends. We've talked to friends of your sisters. You know, we, we, we understand the baggage of the weight that you're under. You know, these things do not just come out of the blue. Okay? We took into account your story. And now that we've completely thrown that out, knowing that that's not possible, we're coming to you for an explanation. Not some story. A story's made up. An explanation for what brought you there today. What got you to that point in your life? I got my paper out. You know, I'm, I'll write it down, man. Well, I didn't do it. I was gone at home. Look at me. I went home. Sarah went home. We came back to listen to you. To tell us what happened. Alice, I mean, we went through what you said, okay? Okay. Because we wanted to find, uh, listen, I'll give you the respect and believe you until it just gets to the point where it's just fantasy now, okay? And when we get, so what do we do? We expedite the ring cameras to, because, hey, we can see some guy coming and going from the house. That is what we need to see. Well, we don't see that. So in order for your story to be true, that means somebody would have had to bypass your ring cameras and not set them off, get lucky enough that a door was unlocked and they picked the right door to be unlocked. Well, we don't usually lock our doors. Okay, okay, fine. But then for them to know that, now you call them an intruder, but I'm not going to call them that because nobody came in there to burglarize anything. They came in there to murder people because that's all that happened there. No items were taken. But if they came there to murder people, like you said, then they would have had to get lucky enough that you had left a gun out for them and left ammunition out so they could load the gun. And then be able to know right where everybody's at and shoot everyone and get in a fight with the biggest person in the house and have struggle with the gun and be able to escape without you hurting them or without them setting off the cameras. So they've now come and gone and we have none of that. So we looked in, that's your story. Mm -hmm. I pretty sure you, I tell that story to you, you cannot sit there and look me in the eye and say, yeah, well, that did happen. Because that's, come on, you just heard me say it. That's not even possible. You, you just don't have you just, it's, it's, not, it's not, Alex. You developed that story before you realized there was, there was a camera on the back of your house. Because I think you're right. I think, I think you're absolutely right. I think Dad puts those things out. You don't pay that close attention to them. And that's just one of those things. You weren't thinking straight, Alec. You weren't. People that are thinking straight don't do these kind of things. They talk themselves out of it. They go have a beer. They talk, talk with their friends. They go for a drive. They cool off. They realize, you know, these things that I'm stewing about are not that big a deal. Whether my sister votes Democrat or my parents always take her side or, or whatever, or they're judging me, or life's not a success. Those are things that normal people have to figure out a way to 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 work themselves through. Okay, that's why I don't think you were really thinking that straight when you came up with that story and, and things like that, or when you called us. You you know why we why we think you did it. Okay, we've explained it to you like ten times here and earlier today. Well, I don't know what else you want from me then. Well, Alex, are you ashamed? Is that why you don't want to tell us? Oh, well, I don't want to tell you because I didn't do it. Well, you don't want to, no, you did do it, but there's a reason why you don't want to tell us. Um, is it because you're scared of what's going to happen if you tell us? 
I mean, these are things we can talk through with you. Because your family's dead at this point. You don't have anyone to talk about this with. Do you, I mean, you realize this, right? Was the uh, disciplinarian in your house, Alex? Mm -hmm. If you get in trouble, is the disciplinarian? I have a parent. I have parents, not mom. So I'm your parent. The people we talk to seem to think it's mom. They do? They do. And you know, and it probably is too. And not probably, you probably complain to them about it, or they probably seen her do it, do it to you. Both parents discipline me if I act out of line or something. Are you sure you really talk to my friends then? Yeah, for sure. Because then you know that I am delayed in playing games with my friends like every night. I didn't say you were delayed, and I didn't say you didn't get punished. Is that the movie time? Because of family movie time? Yeah. Why don't you watch the whole movie? Why don't you want to watch a little bit of it? Because we just do like an hour, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. It's family time, so. Yeah. Well, so? My mom could force me to sit and watch a movie for an hour every night, too, and after a while I might resent her for it because I don't want to hang out and video game with my friends. Doesn't mean I would enjoy it. Well, I enjoy it. It's a good movie. You guys do puzzles together? Yeah. Yeah? Or like board games like Life and Yeah. Like Life and Games. Were you helping put together that puzzle downstairs? Uh, that's my sister's thing. She always puzzles. Yeah. You never did them with her? Uh, no, I'm not really a puzzle guy. We heard you butt heads on politics quite a bit over there. Well, that's just how it is. So you butt heads with all three of them on it? Well, all of them think differently. So. And you or each other? Well, everyone thinks differently. That's hmm. so just how Did it politics you are. Did it upset you that the three of them you were kind of the odd man out on things. Well, not necessarily. I didn't bother you. I wasn't always the odd man out. Did you ever tell people you were? Well, I was the odd man out. Yeah, mm -hmm. they bothered you. Not um, really. I guess I talked about too, so some of my friends. Mm -hmm. Anything else about this that, that you want us to to know that you think we should know that we don't already know from, from what we talked to you about? Um, not that I can really think of right now. Because this is what's happening, Alex. I just remember earlier today we talked about what do you want to happen at the end of the day? You want to go home. Right? When you're not going to go home. Okay. You're being charged with murder of your mom, your dad, and your sister. And you're going to go to jail. So, if you don't have anything else that you want to tell us, Matt and I are going to get up, and the officers are going to put you in handcuffs and take you over to the jail. This is your last opportunity to speak with us or to get your side of the story out before we finalize everything. I've given you my side of the story. Okay. Okay. And that's fair enough. Well, there should be three counts for degree murder.
Não. 